applause. Big round of applause. Okay, go finish doing your work. You messing me up. Go do your work. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, what was I at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we go any further, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, <laughs> ring that bell, <laughs> ring that bell, <laughs> until that blows your head. <laughs> yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You guys see what we're doing inside this video, man. We got a black. Flying Spur, the Bentley, you know what I'm talking about? Just in case y'all know what the Flying Spur was, it's the Black Bentley, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be showing y'all how to polish out this Black Bentley, man. He don't want no ceramic coat or nothing like that. He's going to do a real good paint correction, a real good one step on here. So I'm going to show y'all how to do a one step, one step paint correction, you know what I'm saying? Come in with the buffer, we'll do all that, whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? Put a nice little ceiling on top of it, make sure you give it that gloss, that shine, and protection, sacrificial layer of uh, protection, make sure don't nothing happen with the paint after I do it. He tried it. I wanted him to do his ceramic coat, and it'd be the best thing to do, but he's not going to do it, so that's cool. I ain't tripping on it. Yeah, you never want to push your clients to do something that, that they don't want to do. You never want to do that. Don't ever pressure somebody to do something that they don't want to do. It goes with anything in life. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all, take y'all in how we do this right here. So, uh, keep up so you ain't got to catch up, baby. I'm going to tell you somewhere. <laughs> see we have a lot of swirlage we have a lot of swirlage look at all that swirlage that is a lot of swirlage a lot of swirlage look at all the spider webbings the spider webbing swirlage swirlage see all of that swirlage swirlage that is swirlage so we'll come in and buff all of that right there out of the paint over this right here I'm gonna see he probably should have did the paint correction before he put this right here on though but we're gonna see
Okay, so still working on this paint enhancement. Still working on this on this paint enhancement. So when you do a paint enhancement as a detailer, we wanna always try to come in and do our best. That's cool, that's cool. But you have to make sure, like being a detailer sometimes can be hard because you don't know what we do know. It's, okay, let me get to the, let me get to the point. We wanna try to go all out when that's not what the customer is actually asking for. As a detailer, we wanna, we search for perfection. We chase perfection on every car that we do. So I have to know how far to go when I start doing my paint enhancement. There's a difference between a paint enhancement and a paint correction. A paint enhancement is clearly just to remove like the minor surface defects inside the paint. A paint correction, you're going to search deeper to get all the deeper imperfections out of the paint. So what I'm doing on this one here is a paint enhancement. The customer didn't want to pay for a full paint correction. So to meet him halfway, we do a paint enhancement, if that makes any sense. So anyway, as you, as you can see, you got swirlage, boom. And boom, right up and up. You know what I'm saying? Dang, ain't right that up, but it looks different right there because it's crazy because it's inside the camera, so it's backwards. But whatever. So it's, uh, uh, you got swirlage all right there, and then all right there. There you go. <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna come in and do a paint enhancement right here so you guys can see firsthand of what it's gonna be looking like. So what you wanna do is you wanna come in with your pad. It don't take too much. So right here is the, uh, the, blueberry, the blueberry pad from a Reflection Artist. Uh, I think it's Buff and Bright or something like that, Buff and Shine, whichever, whichever one, but it, details know what I'm talking about when I say uh, the blueberry pad. And I'm coming in with the perfect finish. This right here is the perfect combination for this paint, because it's actually kind of soft paint. I've been having a problem with this dog of paint, man, for hours, trying to figure out exactly what kind of paint or what kind of pad it's used. It's like it's different on each panel. It's crazy, I don't know, but it's messing me up. But anyway, boom, come in, dab it out. This right here is actually a little bit more than what I even need. But this pad is new, so I'm trying to actually kind of try to prime it a little bit, so. But anyway, come in, dab it out. Boom, boom. Start at low speed with the pad already on the car because you don't want any swingage. So you're going to start it out low, on low speed. You can spread it out. All you want to do first right now is spread out the, uh, spread out the, 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 the polish, the compound, the product, whatever you're using. Spread it out slow, then you boost it up. I like to put mine between four and five. Move slow. Overlap yourself. Make sure you don't miss any spots. Make sure you get good coverage. Boost up a little bit more if you need to. Let's check the process. Let's check the progress. Let me see where my towel at. <sighs> you actually have to come in with like, not coming in with a real soft, soft plush towel by auto fiber. Yeah, I'm coming in with a real soft one because it's paint, like I said, it's kind of finicky. So I'm coming in, when I was using another towel, it's like whenever I would wipe it, it would put swirlage back inside the paint that I just buffed out. It's crazy. So like I said, this right here is real soft paint. You gotta be careful with what you're using. Boom. <sighs> Okay. Boom. Let's see. Can you see the difference between that one and that one? I didn't do any kind of enhancement right here, right there. I did correction right here, right here. 
It's crazy to try to get it to be right there. Cause it's really backwards, but whatever. Enhancement right here. No enhancement right here. See the difference between this one with all the swirlage compared to this one? Swirlage, no swirlage. Swirlage, no swirlage. That's the paint enhancement. But believe it or not, there's actually deeper, there's actually deeper uh, defects inside of the paint that I'm not even trying to chase just because all he wants is a paint enhancement. I have to know that, okay, this right here is what he wants. I need to stop right here because this right here is where his budget tells him to stop. So it's where it tells me to stop it. I can't keep trying to go because at that time, I'm working for free. You know what I'm saying, if that makes sense. So you have to know as a detailer when to stop, when to go. Right now, this right here is good enough. So I'm going to stop right here, move on to the next panel and keep it moving. Because as you can see, the major difference between swirlage and no swirlage. Swirlage and no swirlage. Boom, paint the hands, man. Keep on seeing that again. I just did a full paint enhancement on this Bentley Flying Spur. I did the full paint enhancement. When I gave it back to the, to the customer, in fact, he got a brand new car. So he loved it, man. He loved it. The reason why I did a full paint, uh, why I did a paint enhancement and not a paint correction was because the customer wasn't really trying to spend all that money coming out of his pocket of doing a full paint correction. So he wanted to do 75% uh, to 80% better than what it was already looking. So that right there is in the range of doing a paint enhancement. It's a lot less uh, cheaper than getting a full paint correction. 
So that's what he wanted. That's what we delivered. This is a daily driven car. It's not trying to. He's not trying to put it inside of a um, inside of a, 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 a car show or anything like that. It wasn't gonna be getting judged for the paint and the wheels and this that, and the other. He just wanted to get it looking better, remove all the swirls inside the paint, all the uh, the minor defects that was inside the paint that could be removed with just a one step. So that's what I delivered. The customer loved it. The paint came out beautiful, as you could see, as you could see. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a paint enhancement is a lot is a lot more doable than a full paint correction from your everyday clients. And at the end of the day, the, uh, 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 or as a detailer. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's something that you would want to provide to your customers. You know what I'm saying? To kind of meet them in the middle. So you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. Hopefully I, I taught y'all a little something. Hopefully I entertained you a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? But um, hey, keep those things. I get the way I'm gonna take you somewhere. I'm gonna keep them coming. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I love you. Before you do anything, or at the end of the damn video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, <laughs> ring that bell, <laughs> ring that bell. <laughs> If you want any of this gear, man, if you want any of this gear, the detailer gear, you see what it is, man. If you follow me on Instagram, man, you see all our words, the detailer gear. That's me. That's my gear. You go on Instagram, you can follow uh, the detailer life page. It's the underscore detailer underscore life on Instagram. I'm going to put it down there. I'm going to put it down there. Then go shop the detailerlife.com. Go shop the detailerlife.com. Man, we got shirts, we got hats, we got hoodies, we got sweaters, we got sweatpants. We got it all. We got it all. So go shop at detaillife.com if you want any of this good, man. You know what I'm saying? And follow me on, uh, on Instagram. It's Carter's underscore car underscore care for all my detail and stuff that I do. The detailer life is uh where you can where you can where you can find all the all clothing at the underscore detailer underscore life. And then go shop at detaillife.com, man. So I have to come back. Stop back and let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Go do that. Go do that. And stop playing with me, man. We're a boxer, man. Bye.